this video, we will learn about angles and arcs. You know that the angle is the space between two intersecting lines and the surface. We can write the angle like this. The component point O is called the vertex of the angle. If the angle is measured counterclockwise, then the angle is called a positive angle. If it is measured clockwise, then the angle is called a negative angle. As follows, if a person goes in the right direction in life, his benefits increase. If he goes in the wrong direction, the disadvantage will increase. The segment of circle between the two sides of an angle AOB is called the arcs, corresponding to angle AOB. We write like this to mean the arc corresponding to angle AOB. When the circumference of the circle is divided into 360 equal parts, the central angle corresponding to one of these arcs is called one degree. Thus, the measure of a complete angle is 360 multiplied by 1 degree is equal to 360 degree. In mass, to measure the angles use radian. We know that the circumference C of a circle can be calculated using the formula C is equal to 2 pi r. So, C consists of 2 pi times an arc with length r. Therefore, the measure of the central angle corresponding to the complete arc of a circle is 2 pi radian. The radian measure gives us an easy correspondence between the length of an arc, the radius r of its circle, and the measure of the central angle corresponding to the arc. If the arc length is r, the angle measure is 1 radian. If the arc length is L, the angle measure is L over R radians. In the figure, angle AOB is equal to theta and arc length AB is equal to L. So theta is equal to L over R and L is equal to R multiply theta. We have seen that the complete angle of a circle measures 360 degree is equal to 2 pi. We can use the formula d over 180 degree is equal to r over pi to relate degree and the radian measurements where d and r represent the degree and the radian measurements respectively. Let's consider examples. Convert 100 degree to radian. For d is equal to 100 degree, the formula gives us 100 degree over 180 degree is equal to r over pi. So r is equal to 5 pi over 9. Next example. Convert 5 pi over 12 2 degrees for r is equal to 5 multiplied pi over 12. We have d over 180 degree is equal to 5 multiplied pi over 12 over pi. So d is equal to 75 degree. The unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. Being so simple, it is a great way to learn and talk about lengths and angles. The, in, the center is put on a graph where the x-axis and y-axis cross. So we get this neat arrangement here. In the unit circle, there are five main points. 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree and using the formula we can convert to radian so in radian 0 degree is equal to 0 90 degree is pi over 2 180 degree is pi 270 degree is 3 pi over 2 and 
360 degree is equal to 2 pi. In this video, I tell you definition of angle, arc, and unit circle. And I give you the formula converting between the radians and the degrees. I think this video was helpful for you. Thank you. Goodbye.